Hello and welcome. We're going to solve this problem together, but first pause the video, sketch it out, try it on your own. You might be surprised what you can do. Okay, let's start by reading the problem together. It says that in the diagram below, three lines intersect at N. So I'm going to take my, my pen tool and kind of identify. I get this line right here, MH, GL, and FK, and I notice they are all meeting at one point, this point right here. And, you know, I, I think that sketching out is really important. It helps you identify and process the problem. Don't feel weird if you're doing that. It says they intersect at N, so this is point N. The measure of GNF, where is that? G to N to F, that's this angle, is 60 degrees. Okay, I'm going to write that in there. And the a measure of angles is an angle symbol. MNL, let's find that. MNL is here. Okay, just one second. So, so MNL is right here. And that's, that's 47 degrees. So we want to know, let's see what it says. We want to know what is the measure of angle HNK. Where is that? HNK is right here. Okay, so we're trying to find this measure. Okay, what can we do? Well, I want to use the, what's called vertical angles. This angle right here, KNL, is equal to GNF. Um, that's 60 degrees, right? There are two vertical angles. Two, two vertical angles are essentially angles that are opposite the size of crossing lines. So this angle and this angle, if this was x degrees, this would be x degrees. Over here, if this is y degrees, this is y degrees. This is the idea of vertical angles. Then I'm going to use the idea of supplementary angles, angles that form a straight line. That's these three angles right here. We have 47 and we have 60. This third angle will complete the supplementary angles. That, that just means simply that these three angles add to 180. So what do we have to add to it? 47 plus 60 equals 107 degrees. But we need to reach 180. So to find out how many more degrees we need, we take 180, subtract 107 from that, and we get 73 degrees. So this needs to be 73 degrees. Oops, and that's choice C. All right, I hope this helped.